Hello and welcome to round two of the Castle Coombe Junior Karting Championship. Today has been the first dry event on these brand new carts for this year and naturally the lap record has been set and that was set by Matthew Stark who is in this grand final. So we look at the grid for the grand final and it has Josh Poulain on pole position and he's joined by Neil McBrader on the front row. Matthew Stark who is also the winner of round one currently holds the lap record starts third. Pedro Oliveira starts P4, Joshua Slatter P5 and Jack Meakin who came second in the first round is in P6. So we're waiting for the lights to go green which they do now and it's a great start by Neil McBrader there. They're side by side as they head into the first corner. He's going around the outside of Josh Poulain as we go on board with Matthew Stark now and Neil McBrader is just ahead as they head through the chicane. He's able to take the lead there so it's Josh Poulain in second, Matthew Stark in third and Joshua Slatter diving up the inside of Pedro Oliveira as they head up towards the top corner. They're heading back down the hill, still side by side, and Joshua Slatter's just in front, and he's spun, and he has dropped to the back of the field there. That was very unlucky. But the leading trio have broken away now, and it's Neil McBrader still leading from Josh Poulain with Matthew Stark in third position. Pedro is defending in fourth there from Jack Meakin, and Joshua Slatter at the back there. And it looks like Neil's making a bit of a break as Josh Poulain defends from Matthew Stark. There is a gap now between first and second. And the battle for second is between Matthew Stark and Josh Poulain. Matthew Stark right on the bumper of Josh Poulain as they come across to start the third lap of the race. Pedro is still under pressure from Jack Meek in there. And Matthew Stark right behind Josh Poulain here. Josh is defending very well, keeping Matthew behind. Pedro and Jack do look like they are catching back up now. But there is still a gap at the moment. And Neo is running away out in front here. As Matthew Stark gets a little bit alongside. But Josh Poulain is able to cover him off and stop him from coming through. And Pedro and Jack are almost on them now. So they come across to start the fourth lap of the race. Josh Poulain still holding that position. Matthew Stark's tried to find a way through. There's Pedro that's dived up the inside here. And he's alongside Matthew Stark. And he's up into third position there. Brilliant opportunistic move there from Pedro. He's up into that third position as we were on board with Jack Meek in there, getting very close to Matthew Stark, unable to take advantage. And Joshua Slatter has already caught back up in that sixth position and right onto the battle of this train for second place. But it is Josh Poulain still holding that second position. Pedro Oliveira in third. Oh, there's a little bit of contact there. Matthew Stark in fourth, looking to try and take advantage. He's side by side with Pedro, but Pedro has just held him off. Matthew now under pressure from Jack Meekin, with Joshua Slatter looking to make a move, but Jack has fended him off there. Has he? Yes. So Matthew Stark in that fourth position behind Pedro Oliveira. And it's Josh Poulin still holding that second place there as they come across to start the sixth lap of the race. And it's Josh Poulin who's run a little bit wide there. Pedro's got alongside. We're on board with Matthew Stark. They're side by side and Pedro's through. Pedro is through into second. Matthew Stark is alongside Josh Poulin here as they head up towards the top corner. Jack Meekins trying to get involved as well. Matthew Stark is alongside, they're still side by side as they head down the hill. Matthew Stark has the inside line and he's just able to get through. Jack Meakin now gets alongside Josh Poulain, but Josh is able to hold him off. So Matthew Stark up into third place now. Josh Poulain in fourth, Jack Meakin in fifth, and it looks like he's got alongside on the exit. We're on board with Joshua Slatter, and Jack Meakin is through. Oh, and Josh Poulain has just clipped the barrier there, and that has allowed Joshua Slatter through into fifth place. And now the field has started to spread out a little bit. As we come across to start the last lap of the race, Neil McBrader has avoided all of the action behind, driven brilliantly out in front, and has a massive lead over Pedro Oliveira in second place. So there is Neil McBrader leading. There's a big gap back to Pedro in second with Matthew Stark in third. And there's still a battle going on for fourth here with Joshua Slatter right behind Jack Meakin. He has a little bit of a look there. Tries to get the cut back. Gets a little bit of an overlap, but Jack is just able to hold him off there as Joshua does have a look. But it's Neil McBrader that comes through to win. Pedro Oliveira to come through in second. Matthew Stark third. Jack Meek in fourth. Joshua Slatter fifth. And Josh Poulain in sixth. So here is confirmation of the final result with Neil McBrader taking the win and the two extra points. 
Pedro Oliveira took a brilliant second and also was awarded the Driver of the Day award, with Matthew Stark in third setting a new lap record 25.20 during the heats which gained him an extra point for the fastest lap of the day. The points from round two have Josh Poulain scoring the highest amount after winning all four of his heats. Neo McBrader winning the final gained an extra two points to take him up to 24 points, with Matthew Stark taking that fastest lap up to 21 points. Pedro Oliveira and Joshua Slatter 19 and 18 points. The overall championship standings after two rounds have Matthew Stark leading the championship just two points clear of Josh Poulain. Jack Meekin and Harry Sadler are joint third on 42 points, with Neil McBrader on 41. While Joshua Slatter sits sixth in the overall championship, the best novice in their first championship with us on 36 points, just 10 points off the lead. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully see you again soon. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use. Cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby, let the light shine through. If you believe it's true, baby, won't you let the light shine through?